I'm Peter Stewart and I'm your guide through the rogues gallery of intonation criminals, people who don't intonate correctly. And you've probably heard these kinds of speakers, these kinds of readers on radio and TV stations in your neck of the woods. And to be quite honest with you, you've only got to listen to a few news reports, for example, and you'll hear these people kind of uh, come out of the loudspeaker or into your ears through your headphones or buds and you think to yourself there's something wrong here but I'm not entirely sure what it is well we're going through and explaining the problems that some people have when they're not intonating correctly we looked at the sing-song reader we've looked at the news channel reader the stale story reader today the the reader with intonation constipation yeah where, the, the, where there's barely any intonation at all you know your your, your presentation style is as flat as Ian MacDonald on diazepam. And if you're of a certain age and you don't know who Ian MacDonald is, look in the show notes and I'll give you a link. But with such a delivery, all these story signposts are at the same level. Low. And even though the delivery may be unemotional, good on occasion, it may also be considered uninvolving or uncaring or rude and does little to help lead the listener through the lanes of learning rather than get a full understanding they're more likely to fall asleep. You need to stop sounding boring to stop them from snoring. Want an example? Here we go. Three people have been killed and several injured in a church in the French city of Nice in what officials say was a terrorist attack. The attacker, who was shouting God is greatest in Arabic, was shot by police and is being treated in hospital. The French authorities have raised the terrorist alert level. The Foreign Secretary has said the UK stands with France in sorrow, shock and solidarity. From Paris, here's our reporter. Yeah, you sound dull, you sound bored, you sound disinterested, unengaged and uncaring. And that in itself is a bit of a crime. You're supposed to be interpreting the information for your listener. Yeah, We'll look at the amount of tone and intonation you can give to certain stories and when a little bit later. We also touched on this a few weeks ago, of course, when we looked at tone within news bulletins and tone within headlines and tones within stories as well. So go back to the editions, kind of the second week of August, and you'll find a lot there. Ladies and gentlemen, the reader with intonation constipation. Tomorrow... The Plonker, as Get A Better Broadcast podcast and video voice continues. From London, I'm Peter Stewart.